Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Thorium mod. So I hope that you all enjoyed yesterday. I thought yesterday was really good because we finally took down a boss with like great success. So I thought we would continue that by taking a look at another boss which is the Jellyfish. Now I did show this on Chippy Gaming once, so I'm, I've seen it before and I remember it being quite difficult so I think I can make an arena that's kind of like designed for it because I've already seen it what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a platform to kind of stand on and then platforms either side to try and hop over it but that aside I spent a little bit of time actually getting a bunch of feathers and some avian cartilages because uh, a lot of you are requesting that I actually make the full set because you guys say it's awesome and I wasn't excited about the grind but I did it and here we are right so Let's see, can we make a full set now? We we pretty much can. I didn't check, but I, I did this for like quite a while. Right, flight boots. And then flight mail. And then flight hat. Right, what else do you make? You make a harpy pelter, a harpy talon, uh, feather arrows, an aerial. Oh, that's cool. Right, I might try and make some of these then. Um... Yeah, well, that'll do. How many? What does this do? Drifts in a straight line, ignoring gravity. Oh, I get it. So it's like it doesn't arc. It just it just stays. So we've got 20 defense. We have 16 there. Our bow is doing 18. You swap this over. It's doing 17. But let's see if we can fly. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually uh, that's quite a lot of flight, isn't it? Like that's uh, a lot more than what we had. So we're heading to the ocean today because to actually start the next boss fight, you need quite a few things from the ocean, like a lot of farming stuff. But I don't actually know the specifics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly there and I am going to see what you need because I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's like coral, some like things from like sharks and stuff. Forgive me, by the way. I have a I have a really blocked nose at the minute. You, you can probably sound, <laughs> you can probably hear it. Like my sinuses are all uh, out of whack. They're uh, they're still pretty bad. It's funny because I thought I was over the uh, I was over the cold and then I got rid of the cough pretty much and then bam like I just got a blocked nose back and it's completely like sinus up like I've got a uh, I've kind of got no chance right so let's go it's nice to get some day blooms let's continue onwards I will grab this plant even though I don't believe we have a die trader which is silly because I have so many of these little strange plants by now uh, it's kind of mad because I could sell them. And get quite a bit of gold. But, uh, hey, it don't really matter. We don't actually have, like, such a big use for gold right now. I'll tell you what, though. I am going to check this out. Oh. See, that's really cool, but it's also weird because I'm used to, uh, shots arcing. Oh, I also have this. This is the treasure bag from yesterday. Worm scarf. Shadow scale. Good stuff. Oh, my God. What are you? The innocent. <laughs> hey, you are innocent until proven guilty. By the chipster. I will, uh... I don't know if I'm going to wear that... So I always wear the worm scarf. So, like, me saying I don't know if I'm going to wear it or not. I feel like that's a little bit like being a bit of an anarchist. I feel like people will murder me if I say I'm not going to use it. But I don't know. So I will leave that there. This is a weird dungeon, isn't it? This is a really weird dungeon. If I'm completely honest with you, I completely forgot that you even have to do Skeletron. Like, I've just stumbled across this. So I'm like, oh yeah, Skeletron. Do I get a uh, do I get a water bolt? Uh, no. Okay, but do I get a golden key? I do get a golden key. Well, I will save that for uh, for future Chippy when he wants to finally do it. This is like one of the weirdest dungeons I've had though. Like in terms of like world gen, pretty odd that one. Right, so it's the ocean biome we need to be at. Right, so I believe I need all of these little like uh, seashells and like uh, starfishes and stuff. We'll see because I feel like you need to make um. I can't remember what bar it's called, but it's something like this tide bars. It might be this tide bars. Let's see. So you can make a jellyfish resonator using aquatic bars. There we go. So you need starfish and seashells. But how do you make aquatic bars? That's what I need to learn today. Aquatic bars. Let's see. Coral and sea scales. Right. I'm only going to get that from uh, from the water, aren't I? So what I will do is I will head into the water and I will start uh, building up a, a collection of, um, of 
coral, I guess, because I'm going to need a lot of it. I don't actually have any glow sticks on me, so I'm kind of hoping that a, a jellyfish will kind of leap up and help me out here. The good thing is, I can actually just fly, can't I? I can uh, fly pretty well. Oh my god, he electrocuted me. Cool, give me those... Uh... See, I think I think these uh, these things drop from these. These are uh, the things I need. Something, the sea, the sea scale, uh, scales, yeah. The sea scales drop from them, I believe. I need to get out of here. Woo! There we go. Nice and uh, nice and breathed. Nice and breathed. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I don't really think breathed is a word. Is breathed a word? No. You all think I'm crazy with my words. I do say stupid things sometimes. Like I said, uh, what was I saying yesterday? We wasn't doing enough damage. Instead of we were not doing another, enough damage or something like that. It's really funny because... Uh, <laughs> before, if I wasn't going to do YouTube, one of the things I was going to do was uh, was do English. I was going to do a degree in English and it was like really important to me. And it's kind of funny because obviously like I think years and years of autocorrect and nobody correcting me just in general has kind of messed my English up a little bit. It's kind of funny now. It's kind of a meme at this point. I'm glad that you guys uh, kind of call me out on it though because I'd rather speak uh, proper than speak like a fool. So I appreciate the... Uh, I appreciate the support, even if it's, uh, sometimes you guys are just trolling me. I do appreciate it. Because <laughs> that's the kind of thing that would trigger me. And I always say that. I always say, like, uh, never feel bad about writing comments like that, because it would annoy me. And if it would annoy me, then I can understand why it would annoy you. And you shouldn't feel bad for that. You shouldn't feel bad for that. Right, I need some coral. It's a little bit dark. Every time I say coral, I think of, uh, do you know The Walking Dead? Where it's like, Coral! <laughs> That's something me and my friend used to shout all the time. My friend was really into The Walking Dead, and uh, I wasn't at the time. And, uh, yeah, he would uh, sit and read the comics next to me when we were in catering class. And that's the only thing I knew about The Walking Dead was, uh, Coral! And, uh, yeah, we used to have a good laugh with that. <laughs> Jellyfish, come here. It's a good thing that the ocean music is, like, so relaxing, isn't it? Like, this is actually quite nice. Let's see. Do I actually have... I don't know how much wood I actually have here. Let me suggest my microphone. Let's see. Okay. Um, I'm going to build a cross. For one. So that can begin. Can that shark attack me if I'm here? I don't think he can, can he? No. Okay. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of health though, hasn't he? 600. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him with what I've currently got. This, uh, this jellyfish boss. It's a shame I can't, like, live ask you guys. Like, <laughs> I don't do live streams at the minute, but it's a shame I can't just live stream and ask you guys, hey, uh, am I ready for this or am I not? Because, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Right, let's, uh, let's build across this. And let's, uh... Because this is what I was going to do. I was going to have a big platform like this. How far is that? That's quite a distance. And then what I wanted to do is get to a point where, uh... I could reset my jump on each side, so like, this is just such a rough guess, because I actually, um, I've never beaten this boss, have I? So, I don't actually know, but what I was going to do was something like this, so like, I can reset my jump and fly across, because if I remember correctly, in expert mode, it has that attack where it will uh, stick out some tentacles, and those tentacles will actually do contact damage, so I thought circling it and doing like the classic uh, Calamity Mod Circle would uh, would really help me out. But I don't know how much I uh I want to give myself room to circle this thing. So it could be like that. Like it could be like um you know so I can fly across. I feel like see if I'm confident with this. I feel like having the extra flight could help me out a lot because the extra flight is going to um is going to mean I can avoid him better. But then again it's one of these things where it's like the extra flight is not as powerful, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to build across this side, flesh this side out a little bit more. Okay, awesome. Can I just make a, uh, a campfire or am I out of wood? Right, I've got some torches. Right, I'm going to make a campfire. Place that in the middle. Okay, awesome. I actually don't have that much health yet. So I'm wondering if that's going to be a problem. Because I don't have that much health because uh, our world actually doesn't have that much health. Which is uh, super annoying. It's super, super annoying. I have, a, I have a godly one of these, and I placed it in the chest yesterday like a moron. Right, so let's see if, I, if I've if i got enough. So you need coral, 
and sea scales. So one piece of coral per bar. So I need, let's check how many bars I need. It was it using um, starfish? Right, yeah, so starfish and seashells. So I need four of them. So I actually have enough now to, uh, to make these. I don't know if you make them at the fabricator or not. Let's see. Uh, no. Okay, you don't. So you make them here. So I need four. One, two, three, four. And then that will transform into, uh, maybe into that jellyfish thing. Maybe I have to do it at a demon altar. It might have to be a demon altar. If that's the case, I'm going to have to keep one to hand. Let's see. Yeah, so you do need a demon altar for that. Damn it. I'm not a big fan of uh, a things crafted at a demon altar. Just because you can't move demon altars around, you actually have to, um... To go to them that's like the one thing that i don't like if you could have if you could like pick a point at one point where you could like move demon altars closer like i'd really really like that just because uh it just makes it a bit easier but then again it reminds me of like classic terraria when people would uh tunnel to them and you would always have like in your base like a little tunnel that would lead to a uh, to a demon altar because back in the day having a demon altar was just kind of like it just seemed essential because there actually wasn't that many uh crafting recipes back in um, the original release of Terraria, and with the Demon Altar being one of them, like two updates in, it just seemed really, really important. <laughs> Little tangent there. But anyway, we're so close to our corruption. Let's go and craft this thing, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll go get a drink so I can uh, rest my little throat, and then we'll do this fight. I was uh, I should have done it during daytime, shouldn't I? I don't know if you could do it anytime. I might actually have to look that up. I've got to make a few potions as well. But, uh, thankfully, I actually do have the stuff for that. Right, so let's see. I might have... Is that a demon otter? Right, demon otters are down here. So we'll go down this uh, larger one. Go get ourselves a demon otter. Whoop! There we go. And... Down we go, yeah? Is it? Is it this way? Can I go this way? No, okay, I can't go that way. Oh my god, it's the innocent. <laughs> And he's not been proven guilty yet. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Here we go. Jellyfish me up. Jellyfish resonator. Right. You do actually have to do this during the day. Right. Okay. Well, it's almost nighttime now. So I'll have a little break and then I'll be all right back and then we'll do this. All right. So it's now daytime and I feel much better. I was kind of like freaking out in that first half subconsciously because uh, YouTube subscription boxes are being really funny. And I, uh, I posted a video I'd been working on for Chippy Gaming, right? And uh, it didn't hit subscription boxes, like, at all. Like, and nobody watched it. And it had been an hour, and it had, like... It was, like, something like 30 views. And I was like, what is going on? And so I was thinking of that throughout that first section in the back of my mind. Like, really worried in that. But it's just finally hit. And, uh, and everything's going well now. But I, I was just so worried about that. Subscription boxes are so funny. Like, even people that had notifications on didn't even get that video. But now it's up. Now it's good. It's so scary when YouTube does stuff like that because obviously, like, that's my life, man. I love this website. Oh, snap, 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 snap. Right, I'm going to go back and do this because I feel like I owe it to you guys. So I didn't buff my shoes, right? I didn't shine my shoes, did I? I need to shine my shoes because that gives us a four-minute buff. And that four-minute buff could be, like, you know, life or death, right? Movement speed, run acceleration, and jump height increased. Right, I'm happy with that. I had to do it. Because I, I feel like you guys will uh, appreciate me more for going back. <laughs> but who knows? So I'm going to try this out. If I fail it, I fail it. I think the reason I'll fail it, though, is because I, uh, I'm trying to do this as an archer. Like, it's not my uh, my goal overall. But um, it might be hard. <clears throat> I didn't... Uh, oh, I got rid of... My, oh, no. No, it's there. Right. I was going to say, I, uh, I moved my worm scarf. But now I don't know what to get rid of instead. Because I feel like it's this. I feel like this is the band of regeneration that goes. Because reduces damage taken by 17% and a plus 3 defense buff. I feel like it's, uh, it's pretty good. So I'm going to go with that. And I feel like that will do us uh, just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. I have faith in that. I have faith in that. Let's... Uh, Let's keep traveling, man. We uh, we travel so fast. I feel like you guys were right with this armor. Like, it's very overpowered in the sense of, like, you move very well. Like, it um, it does speed you up quite a bit. But I just don't know if we're equipped enough for this fight. But I guess it's kind of like a learning curve, isn't it? Like, 
It was like this with Calamity. Like, you guys left a bunch of feedback, and then I got better. And, um, and it really helped. So it's kind of the same for this series. So buff up. I, uh, I made the potions. And go. So I made archery, by the way. Okay. I'm doing damage. You know what? This is actually going pretty all right. I know it. I believe it's like 50% damage. It, it, at 50% health, it does uh, it does more damage or something like that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Avoid the bubbles. Avoid the bubbles. Right. Reminds me of SpongeBob, right? <laughs> Blowing bubbles. You know what I mean? I was going to quote it, but then I couldn't remember the quote. Oh, no. And I watched the SpongeBob movie the other week with... Uh, with Courtney's little brother. So uh, I should remember that. Even though I really liked that as a kid. I really liked Spongebob as a kid. I thought he was a, uh, I thought it was amazing. I'm pretty happy with how this is going, by the way. But we're not in the final bit yet. So I'm just going to stay uh, hopefully optimistic that it doesn't get much harder. Even though I know it probably will. Because it's contact damage next. So like, avoiding it is going to be uh, the big thing, isn't it? Okay. It makes a weird noise. That, that noise. I do know that noise. That weird noise it's making. That... No, maybe it's not coming across on camera very well. Uh, what is that noise? It's a weird noise. Oh, it's a bouncer. Do you know when you uh, you hit the side of a minecart track? Whoa, oh, okay. That's the new attack. That's the, uh, the one that flings you in the air. Okay. Alright, get one up. Oh, that's a clever attack. Oh, that thing. That's the tentacles that do... Oh, 17 damage? It's a shame that... Oh, I was just about to say, it's a shame that these guys don't drop hearts, but they do. They totally do. Oh my god. What's it called? A distracting jellyfish? That bubble attack, though, is awesome. I really like that bubble attack. I feel like that's a kind of a clever way to uh, to throw you off a little bit. If you haven't got um, like a lucky horseshoe, that could really mess you up if you're in like the middle of a thing. Why is it on fire? Oh, it's because we've moved to flaming arrows. Oh, wow. That looks pretty cool on fire. Alright, this is going well. It's going well. I still don't want to miss it up. This this second half is, is quite long, isn't it? Maybe it's because... Am I landing my hits on it? Yeah, I'm landing my hits. Maybe I just need to concentrate on my hits a little bit more. There are so many of these guys. I just want to kind of like... No, 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 no. Okay, okay. That was a bad idea. Should have stuck with what I knew. Should have stuck with what I knew. Alright. Oh, snap, snap, snap. Okay, back off, jellyfish. Oh, no. So this was going so well. I need to, uh, to chill out. Not let this uh, affect me. I got used to the momentum from the... Uh, from the... No, 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 no. From the feather arrows. And um, now when I went back to normal arrows, I uh, completely lost the momentum. Oh, no. Man, this second half of the fight is, like, really putting me on edge. So I don't want to lose now. Because we've come so far. But in the end doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. It's just because I know that, like, if we lose this, I'll feel super bad. No, no. Oh, my God. I hate it when I get stuck to it. That's not the mod's fault. That's me being a moron. But you know what I mean? Like, when I get stuck to it, I'm like, I get panicky because I'm like, whenever you get stuck to a boss, that's it. Pretty much. Like, that's that's my way of knowing that I've lost the fight. Should I swap to my talon bow now? Because I've, uh... I can pierce these guys. Can I pierce them? Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Right. Okay. It's done. Right. Awesome. Right. These, um, these only pierce up to like two or three people, you guys were telling me. All right. This is going pretty well, actually. There are so many of these little minions, though, isn't there? You know what? I'm actually really impressed with this fight. What on earth are you? Oh, you're the diver man. You're the NPC, right? Ah, okay. The diver NPC. He spawns in if you uh, if you do this fight, essentially. And then if you uh, spawn this fight in again, he won't have a diver man inside of him. Okay. So are these, these are literally just distracting them. They don't even try and target you. Wow. I'm surprised that took me that long to notice, to be honest. But then again, I'm, I'm James. <laughs> that shouldn't really surprise me. Okay. So, Calder. Yuck, that vile creature almost got away with eating me. Thank you for saving me, hero. Ear tank. Emergency ear tank. 
Here you go friend, this air tank will automatically activate when your breath reaches critical level. Come and visit me afterwards and I'll refill it free of charge. Oh wow. Summons a jellyfish and a bubble to follow you around. This is free gold. A marine catcher. Massive crab claw. Equipable. Hitch a ride on a gigantic crab. While mounted, you can walk on liquids. Oh, that's so good. Let's open this up. A lucky sea breeze pendant. Wearers of this pendant shall not fear the aquatic depths. Grants underwater breathing. Grants the ability to swim. 10% increased damage while wet. Wow, okay. Keen gigantic glow stick. Provides a lot of light when thrown. Attacks have a chance to paralyze the enemy hit very briefly. Boss monsters cannot suffer from this effect. So what is this? Is this a boomerang? Or is it? Yeah, it's a glow stick boomerang. Oh, that's so cool. This is all so cool. So now we can go do the aquatic depths. I think um, that'll make for like an interesting video tomorrow. We'll do like a full thing on it then. Because I don't want to uh, just step in for a second and then kind of let it go to waste. I want to do a full thing. Oh, that's so cool. So what what is that effect again then? Attackers have a chance to paralyze the enemy hit very briefly. Oh, okay, cool. That's kind of like what I wanted with those uh, love heart arrows from the uh, mobile version. And I got an emergency. Oh, snap. I just realized. Empty diving tank. So essentially what I did went then is I went underwater for too long and it almost killed me. So if I was to get rid of the painter, for example, and move in the diver man we could actually have that there all the time to kind of refill. But there you go, guys. That was the Jellyfish Queen Bee Boss. That is now done. And uh, tomorrow we'll do the Aquatic Depths, and then we'll go on from there. Right. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.